Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, hi, I'm the Gnarly Gnome. If you uh, are new to my thing that I do every fall, it's it's called the Oktoberfest Quest. You can probably figure that out by reading whatever title or description you're looking at right now. But uh, the point is, I drink every packaged Oktoberfest that is released in Cincinnati, and I try to figure out which one is the best one every year. Uh, just so happens today, we're hanging out on the deck, enjoying some of the sunshine. So if you hear my two-year-old yelling behind me, that's that's why. It's because it's nice outside and um, he doesn't understand that uh, this is for the world. <laughs> so today, uh, we're having a showdown between two different packaged Oktoberfests. Uh, whoever wins this moves on to the next round. Uh, it's, a, it's a big bracket. At the end, there's one winner. Uh, that's kind of the basics of it. Um, I, for more of the rules and kind of the idea behind it, you can go to the gnarlygnome.com slash Oktoberfest quest, and it'll give you kind of the whole rundown of it, show you the bracket so far and how things are going. Um, but it's, it's, I mean, it's pretty simple. It's what I think is what I want to be drinking at Oktoberfest. Um, so that shifts and changes from person to person. So just because one doesn't win that you think uh, is good, it doesn't really mean anything and you're completely valid and, uh, and and probably correct so today i have two different uh fest beers um uh, two heavy hitters too so this is going to be tough to decide but um i do this for you so i'm I, my sacrifice is worth it we've got high grain with their uh, their fest beer called meadow and mad tree with their new award-winning fest beer uh, called ziegler um both beers that I've had before and both really good beers too. We're going to dive into them. Um, we're going to go high grain on my right. Right here, the one that I'm pouring into the glass. And then on the on my left, mad tree. Uh, the the pressure of trying to decide between beers like this, two beers that I that I know that I love, is a, a real thing. It's it's difficult and stressful. Um, Mad Tree. It says Ziegler Oktoberfest Lager, toasty, smooth, uh, rich malt. Uh, it says beer or beer, prost or cheers. Let's all toast to healthy years. That's that's clever. Uh, and they've got uh, a couple, I don't know if you can see that, you're a little far away. These sweat bees are all over the place. Um, I don't know if you can see the, the label art on there with the little, uh, the trees all hanging out, drinking beers together. One's got a thing of brats. Um, it is 5.7%. And uh, down at the bottom it says tap in. It takes a whole six pack to fill a two liter boot. Um, technically it takes a six pack, six pack plus a hair, because I think it's, just a hair over um, six beers to fill a two-liter boot. Uh, all right, Meadow, 6.2% uh, versus the 5.7%. Um, and it says, malty, crisp, authentic, fermented with yeast from the oldest brewery in Munich and brewed in traditional style in honor of our favorite event of the year. All right, we're gonna look at them both. Pretty close in color, as we've had uh, with every showdown so far. It's been working out that the beers so far that have gone against each other have been very similar to each other. Um, the the meadow might be a hair lighter and uh, a hair kind of hazier. Um, that could just be my impression, though, but I think I'm right. Um, it also has a little bit uh, darker tan of a head on it. But not by much. I mean, it's uh, uh, it's it's really splitting hairs to try to make those little things. I wonder if all of these little sweat bees are visible to you because they're getting really close to the lens and just kind of hanging out. Um, let me get a sniff of them both and tell you what I'm getting from them. Okay. Oh, there is a difference here. So, uh, Meadow has a much uh, more uh, fall like aroma to it maybe uh i'm gonna call it more uh toasty and more of a sweet impression obviously you can't smell sweet but 
I'm getting a sweet impression is what I'll call it. All right, let me drink them both so that I can uh, I can dive in a little deeper. Mm -hmm. Okay, that's good. Oh, that's great. Uh, it's definitely a little bit uh, a little bit leaning into the sweeter side, um, not as super dry as some of the other um, Oktoberfests are. Oh, yeah, they're both good. Um, super crisp, malty, bready, uh, toasty, uh, pretzely is what I like to think of some of those malt flavors. They taste like a pretzel, um, but still super drinkable um, and dry. Like it's not, you're not going to fill up on a on a fest beer. I mean, you, you can, and um, ideally you should be drinking enough of it that you do fill up on it. But um, this is tough because they are so similar. Um, I really like the kind of the floral side to the uh, the high grain. But then that multi bready thing that Madri has going on. Mm. That's also really good. I'm going to say that because of the uh, the bready um, toasty side of, of the Madri, I'm going to say it it pushes just past the high grain and uh and not that high grain is a bad beer this is a great beer um but mad tree is just a little bit better for me and for what i want um i like to think of fest beer uh compared to a a Meritzen, which is the traditional october fest that we're probably used to here in the united states um that that dark bready kind of character i think fest beer kind of pulls a little bit of that in while still being crisp and uh, crushable, if that's a, a word that we still use to describe things. Um, yeah, Madri, uh, congrats. We'll, we'll bump you guys into round two, and uh, stay tuned, guys, because um, this has been really difficult this year, and it is close, and I don't know who they're going up to in round uh, against in round two, but uh, it's going to be difficult to choose a winner. So, we'll see. Cheers, everybody, or Prost. I guess we should say Prost. Um, now I have two beers and that means it's going to be a good weekend. Prost. <laughs>